Hello loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya Capranis. If you have not yet been here, this is a formal introduction. Hello, how are you? And if you have been to my channel, then you know what the tea is, you know who I am. What's up? Welcome back. So in keeping with the theme of this video, I'm going to be giving you my honest review and honest feelings towards the new Luxie Hair Signature Curler that they just launched. It is one of their newest hot tools and there's so many great things about it that I will review through this video. I don't know if you can just tell by looking at it, but it is so beautiful. Look how gorgeous this hair curler is, and it is quite special for many different reasons. If you like this video and if this hot tool suits your fancy, you can use my discount code that I will place somewhere down here, and you can purchase it at a discounted rate through the Luxie Hair website. So I think it's really important to note that when you get your signature hair curler, you not only get an awesome hair curler, but you get this hot tool mat. So it is great for protecting your countertop or whatever you place your hot tool on, you know that whatever you're placing it on will not get burned, which is super important. Cause I feel like this has happened to everybody that's ever used a hot tool. I can't tell you the amount of times that I have burned countertops and burned marks in them by not using these. So this is really great and handy. And it also comes with this hot tool glove. And this is super great for people that might not be super responsible when curling their hair, AKA me. And I always burn my hands, especially when I use a wand. So this is super handy. And it has the cute little Luxie logo there. And it's just an awesome handy white glove. So I just plugged in my Luxie hair curler and right away it is off and it needs you to turn on the power button for it to turn on. There you go. And I have it set to 425 right now and it stays flashing until it heats up. And when it has reached that heat, it'll stop flashing. So I'm just gonna turn this down to about 400 because I don't think that my Hair really needs to have 425 heat on it. And the highest that this heat will go to is 450. And the lowest that it will go to is 200. I typically curl my hair at a 400 only because I like it to be a little bit tighter as soon as I curl it because at the end of curling my hair and kind of through the whole process of curling my hair, I'll run my fingers through because I really like a loose, beachy, bouncy wave. So 400 typically does that for me. Oh, look at that. It stopped flashing and it is now at 400. So just before we get into the process of actually curling my hair, I wanted to touch on a couple of the key features that the Signature Curler has just in case you're in the market for a hair curler or if you're really curious about this signature curler specifically and what I love about it is that it has a one inch barrel so it isn't too big I don't know if you've ever used a 1.5 or a two inch barrel I know that I have and when I did use those barrels my curls tend to fall out a lot quicker so the one inch is perfect for keeping that tight curl and really leaving an everlasting curl. Another super important key feature that I don't really see too often with hair curlers is that this signature curler has an extra extended barrel. So it's perfect for if you're wearing hair extensions or if you already have long hair, you can tell just me holding it beside my head. It's hot so I don't want to put it on my head, but you can tell that it's already the length of literally from my head to the bottom of my hair. It is super long and extended, and it's great for when I clip in my hair extensions and want to put heat only once on my hair. And I find that with lots of other hair curlers or like wands, I curl my hair and since it's already so short, I'll have to curl the piece again. So it's like you're putting heat twice on your hair, which you only have to do once with this. This hair curler does feature 11 different hot settings, which is perfect if you want more of a looser wave or a tighter wave or whatever style wave that you're looking for, this can do it. And for my forgetful and busy folks, this is really great because it has an auto off feature. So if you leave the house and you forget and you accidentally leave your hair curler on, which I am guilty of, this will turn off by itself. So you don't have to worry about coming home to a mess. Everybody has their own technique when clipping in hair extensions and wearing them. It's really mainly about making sure that you are comfortable and I am going to be using my halo hair extensions with a couple of clip-in hair extensions on top of it just to really make it a little bit thicker 
And for my ladies with the blunt cut, you already know that you have to have a lot of hair to really make sure that it blends well. So when I'm wearing the halo, I always add the clips just to really add that thickness and that texture and to really make it look as natural as possible. So to start, I'm going to take my Lexi hairbrush and I'm going to just kind of brush out the hair extensions just to make sure that it is smooth and luxurious and beautiful for when I start to add some curls. And as you can already tell, these hair extensions and all my hair extensions already have a subtle wave from it. And this is also due to the Luxie hair curler from the last time that I used it, but it does have a little bit of a curl through the bottom. And I'm just gonna really freshen it up with some fresh curls. But without further ado, let's get clipping in. since getting a blunt haircut and having my haircut super short, I now will clip in my hair extensions before I curl my hair. So I will not curl my hair prior to putting in my hair extensions. And the reason why is because if I were to curl my hair without my hair extensions, they would be super short and you could see my short pieces kind of curled coming out the bottom versus when you clip in the hair extensions on short straight hair, it kind of helps with the whole blending process if I curl my hair after when I have the hair extensions in because it'll all blend together and when I put a curl on one piece of hair, it'll also be curling my hair with the hair extensions. So it really helps it give it that smooth, buttery, loose wave. So I have my signature curler set to 400 and I'm going to start with one of these sort of back pieces and I'm going to take it from the upper part so I still get some of my hair up here and I'm going to kind of just grab it and curl away from my face. So see my natural hair is already kind of popping out but I tucked it back in and I will hold it there for a couple seconds and see the results. Okay. Ooh, look at that, yo, look at that curl. Let me close up for you. Look at that, beautiful. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot my trusty little glove. So let me put this on and try another piece just to show you what it'll look like if I hold it on for a little bit of a lesser time limit than I did with this little piece in the back. Okay, wow. I held it on for maybe a second and a half. The most important parts to really focus on when curling your hair are the front face framing pieces. So I would say your money pieces, just because that's the piece and that's the part that people are gonna be looking at, right? They're gonna be looking at your face and what is framing your face. So it's super important to make sure that the curls are perfectly placed around your face and they frame it well. Okay, so I'm gonna curl my natural hair just in the front and I'm going to hold it on for literally three seconds. One, two, three, boom. And this is crazy. So I'm actually gonna ask you to comment down below what side is your favorite. This is the loose and kind of undone side. I haven't run the Luxie Signature Curler through my natural hair just yet, but it has been run through my hair extensions and it's very loose, very undone, very, kind of beachy and boho. And this side is a little bit more done up. This side's a little bit more fancy. This side is still beachy and wavy, but it does have a little bit of a tighter kind of voluptuous curl, but you can tell that this side has so much more volume and depth versus this side is still a little bit flat. So I'm gonna ask you to comment and tell me what side you are vibing more with. I'm just gonna finish up my look by equaling out the sides and adding that volume to this side as well. Okay, so it looks like my hair is full of secrets and I'm not hating it. I don't think that there's ever such a thing as having too much volume in your hair. I think that the more the ba boom the better. And if I were to give this Luxie Signature Hair Curler a rating, I would give it a 10 out of 10 to 
recommend for yourself or for a loved one. It is super premium quality and it's long lasting, which is what we all need. We don't wanna wake up every day feeling like we have to curl our hair. And the fact that it holds such a great tight curl is super impressive to me. So I know that I'm not gonna have to put more additional heat on my hair every single day because this is gonna last me for a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you gained some clarity and some information into the Luxie Hair Signature Curler. I'm going to link it down below for you to see it. And I'm also gonna add my discount code in case you wanted a little bit of a discount. And if you wanna subscribe to my channel, that would make my day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you stay safe and you stay happy and I'm sending all of the most positive, uplifting energy your way. Thank you so much, guys.